Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about causes and effects of oral thrush in infants. When we say thrush, what do we mean? Well, we might mean a lovely brown bird, but not today. No, what we mean is white patches that occur inside a baby's mouth. Those patches are actually colonies of yeast. Candida albicans is the fancy Latin term for this organism, but it's a very common yeast. Now, we all keep a little bit of yeast in our mouths. It's supposed to be there. It lives there. It's not bad for us. But in infants, especially in newborns, the yeast can grow out of control. Why does that happen? Well, the newborn's immune system is still developing, and the parts of the immune system that are best at keeping organisms like yeast at bay may not be adequately developed, so the yeast kind of goes nuts. Now, yeast loves moist, dark areas, and nothing is moister or darker than the mouth. Even if your baby cries a lot, it's still pretty dark in there most of the time, right? Now, what's the problem with this? Well, it's unsightly, of course. You may see sort of white plaques or patches on the tongue, on the inside of the cheeks, or on the gums, but it's probably also kind of uncomfortable. And at worst, it can interfere with feeding and make the baby excessively fussy. The other problem with yeast in the baby's mouth is if you're nursing, sometimes that yeast will infect your nipple. And that is excruciatingly painful. Nursing may be uncomfortable at times, but it's not supposed to be dreadfully, horribly painful. If you're having that kind of pain, you want to talk to your doctor about being treated for yeast. Frequently, whether mommy or baby has yeast, we try and treat them both at the same time so they don't pass it back and forth. Now, if your baby's bottle feeding, you may want to take some extra care in cleaning the nipples. You don't necessarily have to boil them, but you want to make sure they're really clean and you're not reusing the same nipple. Same thing with the pacifier. Make sure that those pacifiers get cleaned off pretty well so that the yeast doesn't live on that pacifier. Ideally, you wouldn't give the baby a pacifier if he or she has a bad yeast infection until that thing has really gone away. You want to sort of decrease the sucking time because the sucking time can be uncomfortable. Now, what is the doctor going to do? Our first-line therapy is an old, old, very effective medicine to kill Candida albicans. It's called Nystat. It comes in this sort of yellow, syrupy-looking liquid that you can apply right to the baby's mouth. The medicine works where it lands, so you want to use a swab or a dropper to get the medicine on all the little white patches. Now, if that doesn't work, we have more sophisticated antifungals, such as fluconazole, diflucan, that you can use for a 14-day course to eliminate the yeast that way. Now, some moms want to know, or dads for that matter, hey, is this milk on the mouth or is it yeast? Easy way to tell. You can take your finger or a washcloth or, for us, a tongue blade and scrape that stuff. If it comes right off, it's not yeast. The yeast won't budge. It's going to be stuck on there. So if you can't get it to come off, now you want to talk to your doctor about treating for thrush or candida albicans. Talking about causes and effects of thrush in newborns and infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.